there, my beautiful, lovely, talented, and delightful internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today on Footless Joe, where I am still Joe, and I am still missing a foot. Proof is evidenced right there. I come to you today from a previously unexplored on film corner of my house, and there is a reason for that. The reason is sitting just off camera angle, off screen. There we go, that's the word I was looking for. So I am fully aware of the fact that you do not need me to say this, but quarantine has been weird and difficult for basically all of us. The past six months have been a very odd journey in change and instability and insecurity. But for me, there has been one bright spot that I haven't talked about until now because I wanted to save it specifically for this video. And that, my friends, is a new hobby of sorts that I acquired. So a few months ago, I was perusing my email when I came across a request from a company that I hadn't heard of yet called My Garden, asking if they could send me one of their things and if I would just do an honest review on it. From the moment I pulled up their site, I was like, yes, Sign me up, I would love to do this for you because what they are is an indoor app controlled, which is very important for people like me who do not have green thumbs, fully functioning garden. And I'm gonna let you in on a secret here. Um, Brian and I have tried to garden before, we really have. Uh, I tried flowers a few summers ago, that ended horribly. And most recently, this past summer, Brian thought he would grow tomatoes. And um, uh, uh, well, let's just not talk about how that went. So considering the fact that for the most part, Brian and I have been confined within these walls for months now, I thought, heck, why not try something new? Why not try a new hobby? Why not have something growing inside that's actually alive? I kind of wondered if that would make a difference in my mental health. Spoiler alert, it definitely did. As we dive in today, if you would hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, maybe ring that bell notification if you're feeling extra generous, it'd be fantastically appreciated and helps my channel. So today is day four, and this morning, I came down the stairs to this little guy and this little guy. We got some kale looking to make an appearance. It's working. So I just got a notification on my phone uh, from Kelby, who is my gardener, that it, today is the day to add in the plant food. It even comes with a handy little teaspoon. So I'm just gonna pop open the water area here. Something I find very interesting is that the first plants to pop up are not the ones that are growing the fastest. Like, for instance, the mustard and the cilantro were two of the last ones to kind of sprout, but look at them now. My little cilantro here is looking quite happy. And then we got green mustard, pretty tall, and then red mustard over there. It's awesome to come down every morning and be like, I wonder, I wonder what has grown overnight. This is really fun. I'm really enjoying this. You checking on the plants too, Sophie? Or are you just playing with your tennis ball? Okay, so we are just below three weeks on a uh, little plant growth development. It's absolutely nuts to me how much these plants have grown in less than three weeks. Also extraordinarily exciting news, none of our animals have bothered this like at all. It's a little suspicious. I'm wondering if they're waiting for their opportunity to strike or if they're just gonna be good puppies and a kitty and leave it alone. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a freaking legit garden on our hands. Oh, it's too overexposed, you can't see it. Hold on. Look at this luscious tower of beautiful greenery. Like, check this guy out, he's so happy. These big leaves here. Uh, my personal favorite is down here. These leaves look so like healthy and pretty, they look plastic. Look at that delicious kale ready to put into a smoothie that I'm gonna hate. I don't like kale smoothies, but I know they're good for you and I'd feel a lot better if it was my own kale that I was eating. It's legitimately been very life-giving to me to know that every morning I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna see like new life and growth. The world's a crazy place right now. It's been mentally hard for I think pretty much everybody and having something new that I can like take care of and tend to and see progress and change and have something living in my home when it's hard to get out of your home right now is just, just, it's such a gift. It's absolutely delightful and I love it. So I was making dinner tonight and I realized that the recipe called for cilantro and I actually have cilantro that we grew ourselves. This is the first time I will ever be cooking with food that I actually grew. Drum roll please. Ta-da! Look, I have grown things. I have grown things that are actually alive and flourishing and I have consumed. For instance, most recently I made some dill chicken with that dill right up there. Multiple times I have used the cilantro that we see. Just broke that leaf, that was not a great visual. That we see. So as someone who has never really gardened before or been too involved with like having a green thumb or growing my own food, this has been so cool. And it's also been an amazing mental health boost for me to see things that are alive and growing and evolving and changing 
in my house at a time where it can kind of feel like time has stopped because like I said, we're indoors most of the time. We're not seeing a ton of people. We're not involved in the outside world. And so it almost starts to feel like you're stuck in this just chamber where nothing ever changes and every day is the same. And so having something that's a very visual and alive reminder that things are changing, things are growing, has honestly been amazing to me. Like, especially as things were sprouting, I'd come down every morning excited to see like what the new growth was and which ones had popped up and did this one have a leaf yet? And oh look, cilantro grew like an inch overnight. It's just been, it's been really cool and healthy for my brain and honestly my body with fresh things to have this as part of our household. Something that both Brent and I really appreciate about this is that it's pretty much foolproof. This whole system is controlled by an app and and a virtual assistant by the name of Kelby who lets you know, hey, your tank's low, you should really fill it up, or guess what, it's time to clean things. Also contained within the app, there's a whole plant book that tells you everything you need to know about certain plants and sizes and harvest times and all of that. This whole thing, from the lights coming on to turning off to watering it, can run on a completely automatic schedule so you don't have to worry about it, so you don't have to hire someone to come watch your plants when you're going away for the weekend, though none of us are really doing that considering it's quarantine. But if you were going somewhere, this would take care of itself. You can even check on it with the live cameras that it has. How freaking cool is that? Like if I ever wanted to watch my plants while I was out of the house, don't know why I'd want to, but if I did want to, I could do that. So contractually, there were no stipulations about like what I could say or couldn't say about that. Like this is honestly my opinion. And I just wanted to say that if this is something that sparks any interest or curiosity for you, please go check it out. This has been something that has really brought me a lot of joy and as silly as it sounds, a little bit of purpose over the past month and a half, two months. Living in our very modern world, it's easy to be disconnected from living, growing things, the things that nourish our bodies, and to have a little bit of nature inside here with us has really been a mood boost, has really honestly helped. I don't know, it's just been really fun. I really like it. I'd highly recommend it. Now, one thing that is very important to know, especially if you're someone who deals with any kind of physical challenges or is just not particularly physically strong, I would really recommend having someone else help you set this up. I tried doing it on my own, did not work. So I brought Brian in and we were able to get it worked out together, but it is a little bit of a process to set up. It's very clear what needs to be done, but it is much easier as a two person job than it would be as a one person job. With that being said, thank you so much to my garden for bringing this into my life and bringing me some joy and happiness over the past few months, which I am certain will continue. As mentioned before, check out all their links down below. With that being said, thank you so much for listening to me talk about this garden here today. I feel like it's like a silly small thing, but also it's kind of not. It's been a really cool new hobby to have and something that's really helped my mental health. Thank you to all my patrons for continuing to sponsor me. I cannot tell you how invaluable your support is. Truly, thank you. And to you watching this video right now, thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day here with me today. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything. You chose to hang out with me for a little bit and I really appreciate that. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Have heard from the sky.